said that simultaneously. I know, it's good, would not it? I don't know if you're going to see anything in the forward-facing camera. The sun's right, right in the eyes. So we're, we're finally off. It feels like I mean, a lifetime of being at home. It's only been three weeks, but uh, it's nice to be actually getting away. And uh, we're on our way to Ashwell and uh, Ashridge Farm, which we've been to many, many times. Um, but I thought, I'd, first of all, I'd update you about the habitation service. I filmed a little bit just after I'd picked the van up for the habitation service. So I'll show you that now. Right, just a quick update. I'm back at Todd's. I've come to pick up the van after its habitation and its vehicle service. And people always want to know how much, first of all. So the habitation service and gas check was 220. I think that's 15 pounds more than it was last year and the silver service was £213.09. Uh, the, the vehicle service is done at one call, so they, they're just down the road and uh, they did all the vehicle service, so they did an oil change and a filter change, which I like to do anyway every year, I think that's a good idea uh, to get that done. Yeah, so the service itself was uh, £69 plus VAT Oh, sorry, £69 including VAT. I think the oil actually costs more. Uh, oil filter and environment fee. Uh, and like I say, the habitation check was 220 uh, gas check. So they did a battery test. The battery is good. A whole load of series of checks. Important thing for me is the damp check. There's no damp found. Uh, they test all the electrics, the 12 volt system. I notice when I come in, all the lights are on, so they've, they've tested all the lights and things like that. Um, they do a gas inspection uh, test, much like you would get perhaps on your boiler at home. Uh, test the uh, the pressure after five minutes stability, the air um, insulation airtight, and yeah, so that was all good. They test the smoke and carbon dioxide. Uh, alarm test record, that's all fine, and uh, they do an RCD check as well, so your residual current devices uh, make sure that they're actually tripping when they're supposed to, and uh, that looks all good I guess, and they do a damp check as well, um, so it just says, says all no damp found. I think the only note on there is if they find anything of concern so uh, no areas of concern so that's good that's good so i'm happy with that gonna get the car hooked up now it's absolutely horrible out there so i'm not looking forward to getting the car hooked up in the rain and the, the wind but we'll do that and we'll get on our way home so i've got to put all the stuff that we've got in the bedroom back in the van we'll do some of that this afternoon uh, probably just, uh, finish it off tomorrow. Just show you around the back. So the warning triangles, change the number plate, and I've got a little sign in there just in case people are wondering what's going on. Turn ignition on, turn it off, and that allows the steering wheels to move. gear and brakes off. Switch the unit on. Final sanity check. Just a quick word about these little um, things here. That's a locking pin. That there means that this bar's locked. 
that one isn't locked yet because of the angle that we're at but that will lock when I move forward and I'll put that locking pin in there and we'll just do that yeah so that's locked there Check of the lights. Yeah, so we fill, filled up the van, uh, put everything back, and it didn't take as long as it I thought it was going to take. No, you, I think that's because we knew put everything in one one or two places, didn't we? And we could just grab it and put it back in the van. Whereas when we were packing from our van to another van. Seems more complicated. Yeah. Because cupboards are different. We know where everything goes. Yeah, we knew more or less where everything goes, yeah. So just hope we haven't forgotten anything, don't we? No, I spent about <laughs> <laughs> two hours packing everything this morning. And uh, that seems to take forever. I think the majority of it is camera gear now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. so we'll film a bit of Ashridge Farm, but yeah, I'll show people, you around. People yeah. said they'd like us to do arriving at videos in case something's changed yeah, there, but yeah. I don't think much will have changed. It doesn't, doesn't seem to have done in <laughs> the years we've been going. Well, 20 years we've been going. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's just, seems the same, yeah. 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 Alright. So we'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, see you later. Just stopped at Norton Kane Services and uh, since the habitation service I had the gas switched off so I'd forgot to put the gas back on to be honest um, and I'm driving along and because we stopped I have some sandwiches a packet of crisp a woof at the dogs next door in here <laughs> temperature in here was 14 degrees so I've now put it on manual on gas so I'm going to leave that on for the rest of the journey but it just shows how cold it can get when you're not got the heating on. It pops. Is that the fridge has just switched on to gas. We've been stopped about 15 minutes, so what I was saying is that the fridge will switch on to gas, but after 15 minutes. Subject of the fridge is the door opens a lot better. We've definitely fixed that. That's good. The loaf's falling out. Yeah, we've got a fully packed fridge. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was about tank heaters. You've got these tank heaters which are meant to stop the tanks freezing uh, when it's getting cold out there, obviously. And uh, just looking in the manual, it says that the tank heaters only come on when there's 25% of water in either of the tanks so they won't work unless unless that display shows you've got 25% in the tank and the other thing to mention is the fridge vents uh, I've got two fridge vents that I only actually use in the bottom one the bottom one really is where the air goes into the fridge the top one is where the air comes out reason for using them is to keep the drafts out really uh, I think you get more drafts coming in the bottom one and you feel it down down there really so I think the manual says to put them on when the temperature is below about four or five degrees so it's sort of borderline today it's four uh, four or five four or three degrees actually it says on there now um, but I haven't put the top one on there mainly because I don't normally put the top one on there because I don't think it needs it. That's the outlet for the uh, the fridge. So the warm air the, uh, that the fridge puts out comes out of the top vent. Uh, so I, I don't think it needs it. But the other factor is I've lost the clips for the, the panel itself. <laughs> I don't know where they've gone. They've fallen out. So a tiny little plastic clips and they're all, I'm always losing them. I end up sort of rummaging round uh, shops and things looking for a, a new panel those panels are expensive as well <laughs> they're about uh, 10 15 quid yeah oh well. so fortunately i don't need uh, the top panel on 
They're still doing roadworks here, aren't they, on this bridge? Yeah, they were doing that when we were last down, weren't they? When was the last time we were here? Um, April. Was it April? April. Oh, of course it was April, yeah. So we yeah, came here came when, here when lunch, the lockdown was lifted. That's right. And then we came just for one night, didn't we, in yeah. July on our way back, on our way to Norfolk. Yeah. Yeah, Hertfordshire. turning right here. <laughs> we haven't turned right for nearly eight years, isn't it? I know, but it still... But how many years did we turn right? So... 24 years <laughs> we lived right. here. I know, so... It's still a really awkward juncture to see what's going on. Notice what the heart half your border's just there, isn't it? In half a mile, turn left onto station road. Called Zahir, isn't it? Yeah, it's changed its name, isn't it? Caravan sign now, don't you? Yep. I see blue skies. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Ashwell Street, then take the first left. Saxon settlement. Yep. It's not been in uh, Assassin's Creed though, is it? <laughs> You'll have to have a look on the map, won't you? No, I don't think it is. Ashwell Street, then take the first left. Always sort of comes up on you a bit quicker than you think this it does, turning. Yeah. Feel 
quite busy. Is it busy? Yeah. Uh, it is a Friday, isn't it? So yeah, it's the weekend. It's very popular at the weekends, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, you won't be allowed to go on the grass. No, the grass would be closed, wouldn't it? I think they close that in October. Farm on the left. I see one in the middle. See one in the middle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one of the, this must be one of the smallest <laughs> pitches, uh, sites on the network, wasn't it? Got 39 pitches. 39 to pitches, the, a tiny little map. It's part of its character though, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's more like a CL, isn't it? Yeah. Tree here. You don't fancy that, then? Because well, no, probably won't fancy it, will no, she? No. Fifth wheeler there. Well, One for Lance. It's a rock wood. Someone on this one here. All oh, right. I think there's probably possibly some around the corner. Someone's left their lead plugged in. Do you want to go around, put something on the pitch, and then come back and do the water, or I'll do the water now if you do want? Do the water, okay. That's all we need to do, isn't it? Get some water. I brought the aqua roll and the aqua waste. Um, waste master. But we just haven't got anything over at the moment. No, no water at all. Yeah, I've just switched it. Right, filled up. So at least we don't have to do that for a couple of days. No, because there's only one service point. Works yeah. out there's 25 pitches in the winter. There's only 25 yeah. in the winter. Yeah, because right. these are all closed, don't they? Oh, they yeah, can close they are. over there. Yeah. I think it's about 24 or 25. Yeah. Hard standing. Yeah. So you've had a little wander? I had a little wander, check the trees for you know. I think we'll be best on 26. It's in the middle and there's nothing on right top. Here somewhere. So we've probably been on that pitch many times. This one so over first one here, yeah. Yeah, we've been here many, many times, haven't we? Yeah, I remember putting an awning up on yeah, here. Quite that awning room. It's quite handy for the water as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's one for Lance, there, of Rockwood. Ultralight. Ultralight. Ultra Ultralight. Ultra I forgot how to put it in reverse. <laughs> Never get that bit first time. It's one thing that has changed is these houses have yeah. shot up, haven't they? Yeah, there's a housing estate there now. Yeah, isn't there? there was just nothing. Right, go. Wait there, mate. Let's see. Nice big pitches, aren't they? Getting a bit bare there, right? So, yeah. Go on. It's not a huge amount to see, really. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Haven't brought the car, have we? No, didn't bring the car. I didn't think we needed it, to be honest. I'm going to the pub around the corner, and we're going to a pub in uh, well, Digswell, in, which Digswell. has got a huge car park. Yeah. Look, it's nice to go out for the day in the van, actually, this time of year anyway, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's warmer. You've got everything with you and it's yeah, warmer. Yeah, make a hot drink. And you can get dry. Yeah. Yeah, there's a motorhome service point. Yeah. And it just goes around in a big circle. Well, a little, little circle. circle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought Glenn and Sharon were here for a minute. <laughs> your drinking water and your waste disposal that's the only place there is that's the only sort of service point as it's as it were that and the motorhome service point and your chemical disposal here 
took the door off for some reason. I don't know why they took the door off. All sort of fairly standard. Uh, and uh, a laundry, one washing machine, one dryer. Quite a nice little laundry, actually. Yeah, yeah. Probably you might use that later this week. No. No. You have used it. You have used it. Any dishwashing area, just here. <laughs> yeah, I think we can see the Merry Christmas yeah. sign there. You need your hat on. <laughs> It wouldn't keep my head warm, would it? We would. No, I so don't tight. think so. On my head. You know, it. <laughs> yeah. And the great thing about Ashwell, of course, is that well, Ashridge Farmer. I keep calling it Ashwell. I always think of it as Ashwell. Yeah. Because we always visit the uh, the village. Is that there's walks here? You can walk to the village. Oh. <laughs> it's good for your um, what are they called? Dogs. Dog. That's it. Poppy. It's good for your poppies. <laughs> Another banner here. So you get the selfie here. It might be a better selfie here, wouldn't it? It might be. It might be. Can't see the Merry yeah. Christmas sign there. And no. it's a bit bright here. Yeah, apart from that, it might, <laughs> might be perfect. Happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas. Right. Go on then, pups. Go for a walk. Lots of smells. I should have put my hat on. You should have put your hat on? Yeah. Or your Christmas hat? Don't know whether I brought that. <laughs> you didn't bring your Christmas hat? <laughs> well, I've, I've put it out to uh, Where are you? be packed, but I can't, haven't seen it yet. Oh, there you are. I, can't, I couldn't see in the in the tiny little screen <laughs> on this. <laughs> Come on, Pops. Yeah. Yeah. So we just go for a little walk, get Poppy to unload and get plugged in and we'll catch up with you in a little while. Yeah, we were quite amazed when we bumped into Aaron and Vicky from uh, Caravan Chit Chat and they were, the, with, they were with their friends Steve and Deb Ludford. Who were site managers at Broadway, weren't they, and New Forest. Yeah. Centenary. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. It's a small world, isn't it? Yeah. So it just only 25 pitches. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. They, they just come yeah, down yeah. for the weekend. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we'll catch up with them a little bit later. Thought it wasn't warming up in here. Really <laughs> cold. <laughs> We're sitting here free freezing. Think it's not getting warm. We've got the heating on. Because the electric hadn't come on. Let me show you why. It's because I didn't read this. You've got to insert the plug, lift the flap and push the brake up to turn the power on. So on number one, which is this one, you've got to push that thing up. And I didn't do that. That's why it didn't come on. <laughs> so I just plugged it in and hoped for the best. I thought I'd just record how I'm getting on with the pointing uh, aerial. I've stuck it on the side of the van. Not really uh, done anything scientific here. So I recorded a couple of speed tests and I've actually found it's better without the aerial, which is a little disappointing. The speed here has always been a, um, download speed has always been a problem. So uh, it seems to make a difference when you've got a good signal, but it actually seems to make it worse when you've got a poor signal. So this first figure here, that's the figure I recorded uh, the first time with the aerial connected. The second figure, I did it again to try and see if I get any improvement on it. And the third figure is with the aerial disconnected. So, uh, and just get Jenny to hold this, I'll uh, repeat the, the test. Yeah, so just on the speed test there, 2.4 and 0.29 upload. So let's just disconnect it and see what we get. Disconnect and test again. It's not much better, but four, it's going up to four now. Yeah, five, hit five. 
probably wants her tea. She's had her tea. She's had your tea. She's cracking up. And 0.66 download. Yeah, so 5.3 and 0.62. Not brilliant, but slightly better download with it disconnected. And on that massive disappointment, I think we're going to have some tea. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, catch up with us a little bit later. later. Yeah, we're going. We're going for a little meal with um, Dave and Marion. Uh, Brian, Brian and, Alison. and Alison tomorrow, so look forward to that. And we might put a little bit of footage of that in here. Poppy, go out he wants in a minute. To go somewhere. You want to go somewhere? Yeah, so if you want to go somewhere, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you in the next one.